is going on chill army deandre ox7 here and welcome back finally to another episode of our pokemon soothing silver anime lock so soothing silver is of course the amazing rom hack of pokemon so um i almost said soothing silver pokemon soul silver by my good friend andre um or Dracondre, as he's known throughout the, uh, you know, as he's known throughout the ROM hack community or just online in general. For those of you who don't remember, an anime lock is essentially not really like a Nuzlocke, but it's more, it's just a fun little challenge that's supposed to emulate the Pokemon anime and how, you know, Ash and his friends had a much harder time, you know, on their journey than, you know, we did as the player. Since, you know, there's a lot of Pokemon that didn't evolve, and there's a lot of Pokemon, well, not really a lot, but there are some Pokemon that didn't evolve, or certain, po or certain uh, you know, rule sets that kind of handicapped them that, you know, we didn't have to abide by or whatever. But firstly, I just wanted to apologize by, you know, not being as, you know, frequent as I was in the game. Uh, or not in the game, but as frequent as I was in the, uh, with these, with this series, honestly, I've just been de dealing with a lot, you know, school and some very, like, personal, like, family stuff, family or, I guess, family friend stuff, you know, just, just personal stuff in my life that's been going down, that's been kind of, you know, hindering my upload schedule, but I'm in a new set of mind, I'm trying to get back to my consistency because we are well into 2024 and i have yet to commit to my consistent schedule like i promised way back in january so <laughs> let's actually get back to some actual uploads and i'm gonna try and make this a weekly upload thing I'm gonna, we're gonna try i can't promise you guys that but i'm gonna try not just for myself not just for you guys but for my boy andre because he has been he's been dying to see more of this anime lock and i have been letting him down so andre i know you're watching this i humbly apologize but let's get right into the episode so quick recap since it's been a minute uh so here are the rules so one i must catch or I must have a partner Pokemon similar to Ash's Pikachu by the time I get to the first gym. This Pokemon should have a at least a base stat total below 350 and cannot evolve. Second, I can no longer, I can only use standard Pokeballs, but Apricorn Balls are an exception. Third rule, no legendaries, pretty explanatory. Um, Self-explanatory, I should say. Uh, fourth, no items in battle, but held items like berries and, you know, type-enhancing items are allowed. I'm only allowed to evolve Pokemon during plot-related battles, such as rival battles, gym battles, and evil team battles, if they evolve by level up. But if my Pokemon evolve through the use of items, I have to find the item or be handed the item. No buying them. The sixth rule is that I have to match the number of Pokemon my opponent uses in gym battles, so if Faulkner uses two Pokemon, I must also use two Pokemon and box any other Pokemon I have on my team. Uh, I must be a good trainer, meaning things such as sacrifice switches, catching Pokemon I don't intend on using on my team, and catching Pokemon solely for in-game trades. All of those things are not allowed. And lastly, a bit of an optional one. Gift Pokemon are optional, but plot-related gift Pokemon or eggs are mandatory. For example, the Togepi egg. So, uh, with that out of the way, let's have a quick recap of our team. So, of course, we have Mudvayne the Wooper, Eruption the Quilava, who is uh, taking on the role of my partner Pokemon in this game, Kanye the Mareep, and of course, we have the egg, which apparently may be close to hatching, so I guess we might get it by the time we reach Azalea Town. Alrighty, guys. Let's move on. So last time we uh, 
last time we were in uh, this episode, or <laughs> last time we were in this episode, last time we left off, we took on the Sprout Tower, you know, trained up there for a bit. We also took on the Violet City Gym, defeating Gym Leader Faulkner and getting the Zephyr Badge, our first Gym Badge. So the rest, the remainder of this episode is going to be us just kind of traveling through the next route. We're probably going to end it. I'll probably end it when I get to the Union Cave because I don't intend on this being a long episode. So let's just go ahead and get right to it. What do you have to say? What do you gotta say, Mudvayne? Mudvayne looks very happy, as she should be. Went ahead and bought myself five additional potions because you never know when you're gonna need them. Also, let's go ahead and get this apricorn here, a yellow apricorn, I believe that's used to make fast balls, I believe. Okay. What do you gotta say? Wait up! What's the hurry? You have some good Pokemon there. It must be from the training you gave them around Violet City. The training at the gym must have been especially helpful. As a souvenir of Violet City, take this. It increases the power of grass type moves. Ah, the Miracle Seed. That will definitely come in handy for a future Pokemon that we are getting in our team. And no spoilers, though. Andre knows what I'm talking about. Andre knows what I'm talking about. I'm sure he knows what I'm talking about. I don't exactly remember the level cap for Bugsy, so... I'll just try to get my Pokemon around to, like, what, level 20-ish? Close to level 20? That's probably a little overkill, but we'll see. It really all just depends on... I can't escape, apparently. But I will say, it all just depends on when we, you know, eventually get to Bugsy. Okay, I believe that's a trainer. That is indeed a trainer. I haven't seen you around before. So, you think you're pretty tough? Man, I didn't say that. I mean, I didn't say anything. You're, for you're literally forcing me to battle, Albert. I refuse to lose to an Albert. Oh my goodness, it's been so long I forgot Alolan Pokemon are in this ROM hack. Oh my gosh, that that kind of jump scared me, I'm not gonna lie. That kind of jump scared me, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's go ahead and hit him with the Diarrhea Special. Is it just me or are the HP? Is the HP bar faster? Wait, Andre, did you change the HP bar? To, so that way it's not like, you know, ridiculously slow when you hit a Pokemon? If so, awesome. You are doing God's work as always. See, I love people who actually, you know, put thought into their, you know, people who actually put thought into their ROM hacks instead of just, oh, let's just make the game harder. Also, by the way, if you guys notice, I am not, uh, I'm once again not doing my, showing my face cam, as I am, I believe this is going to actually help me get these videos out much faster than usual. So yeah, let me know, uh, do you guys prefer the no face cam, or do you guys like to see my... Or do you guys like to see my pretty face? Uh, nothing special up here, so there is really no reason for me to go there. There is an item over here. Ooh, but the freaking wild Pokemon. All right. <laughs> okay, repel. Honestly, that's kind of worth it, honestly. But I'm not going to use it. I don't think I'm going to use it. Ooh, Bellsprout, I really hope you let me run away from you. Please let me run. Oh no. Oh no. Oh lord. Oh lord. Okay, since you're not letting me run away, I don't want to risk dying to a Bellsprout. I don't want to risk any of my Pokemon fainting, so I'm going to switch to Eruption, of course. Of course, since Eruption is my partner Pokemon, he cannot evolve. Oh, 
Ooh, made it out. Okay, so you're over there. Okay, so I'm gonna battle this trainer next. Uh-huh. Yeah, and you know. Pardon? Pokemon battle? I'm on the phone. Well, get off the phone, okay? Get off the phone. My Pokemon require experience, Liz. You know, I've never met a Liz. Well, I guess I technically have, since Liz is usually like a short... It's usually like a short nickname for Elizabeth. So I guess perhaps I have met a Liz. I've, I've met tons of Liz's, if that's the case. Just hit him with another Mudshot. Mudshot is actually like... Mudshot is actually doing work for us right now. Oh? You're on a big journey to see the sights? Neat. Let's be friends. Can I have your phone number? I want to hear about everything you've seen. Sure. I'll telephone you if I hear anything interesting. You better phone me when I become champion, that's for sure. So unfortunately, my <laughs> whooper, I misclicked and my whooper got absolutely destroyed by a bell sprout. So I have to go ahead and backtrack real quick. Mudvane, we need to work on your speed. I mean, I get it, the whooper line is actually just pretty slow, but sheesh. You would think that I could be able to run from a level 7 Bellsprout, for crying out loud. Okay, let's continue on our journey now. Let's battle these fishermen. My Pokemon, freshly caught. Not for supper, I hope, Henry. Okay, you got a Poliwag on you. Let's go for some flashes. Okay, it's gonna use Water Sport, which is very useless. Very useless. Oh, come on. As if Mudvayne hasn't been through enough yet. Sheesh, man. Mudvayne, wake up. Mudvayne, wake up, please. Mudvayne, please, wake up. Luckily, we're immune to your moves. I'm already asleep. Mudvayne, wake up, I swear to God. Thank you. Is it just me or does... Uh, what's it called? Does Retro Arc make these games run a little faster? Because I've noticed the game's running a little faster than usual. I forgot that Poliwag also had Water Absorb as an ability. <sighs> That's on me. That's on me. I should have. I should have figured that out. I should have figured that out. I miss. How do I miss a flash? All you're doing is making a really bright light towards them. How do you miss that? It doesn't matter. Poliwag is dead. Mudvayne is level 12. And Whooper is out. Okay. Uh, you shouldn't have Mudshot, so... I'm gonna actually send out Kanye, so Kanye can get some experience here. Mud Sport, electric attacks are weakened. Luckily, I'm not going to use any electric attacks, so joke's on you. We're just going to do the good old tackle spam. Okay, we don't need to use Tail Whip, just, just tackle him, just tackle him. There we go, that's what we like to see. Splash? What do you mean, splash? 
Oh, I'm also dang splash. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to switch out my Pokemon real quick. We're going to switch to Mudvayne, actually. Because Eruption has had enough training for now. So I'm going to switch to my Mareep. Whoa! You made me lose that fish! Oh, sorry, I guess? Justin? With a Magikarp, for some reason? Let's go ahead and take you out with a Thundershock. That's what we like to see. I mean... Okay, if all you have is a magic card, I'm just gonna keep using Thundershock on you. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep using Thundershocks. Like, come on now. I don't know why, the game seems like it's running a lot faster. I don't know if that's because of Andre making the game run faster, or if, retro or if like the old emulator I, I was using to run this was just really slow. Maybe it's a mixture of both. Maybe it's a mixture of both. Or maybe it's just a placebo effect, and I'm just... I'm just experiencing things weirdly. I'm just seeing things right now. I don't know. I really did Magikarp dirty this entire match, but... I mean, that's what you get when all of your Pokemon are just Magikarp. Isn't there, like, one trainer in some game? I forgot what game it was. I forgot which game it was, but I believe there's a trainer who just has nothing but Magikarp, and I'm just like, come on, dude. I'm really good at fishing, but I'm even better at Pokemon. Alright, let's see your skills. Let's see your skills, Ralph. Okay, a Goldeen isn't bad. Imagine if he just had a Magikarp. I would be absolutely appalled. I would be absolute... I would feel absolutely disrespected. Okay, I still feel absolutely disrespected. What the heck was that, bro? That's okay. Mareep is at level 15. Tch, I tried to rush things. Sure you did. All right, so you guys know the rule. So this goes into rule number five. Pokemon are only allowed to evolve during plot-related battles if they evolve by level up. So since this wasn't a rival battle, gym battle, or evil team battle, we cannot evolve Mareep, unfortunately. We have to wait until we get to, like... When is the next, like, major battle? I think it's, like the Slowpoke well, so we probably won't be evolving Mareep anytime soon, unfortunately, but that's okay. Don't young people fish anymore? I can teach you how to fish well. If you'd like to exchange phone numbers with me, sure. You know, I've always wanted to go fishing. My dad never took me fishing when I was younger. That's great. I'm happy to have made a younger friend. Uh, I wouldn't word it like that, sir. There's a lot of creeps roaming around these parts. Especially in today's day and age. But we don't need to get into that. This is Pokemon we're talking about. Not Chris Hansen. Alright. Another trainer right here. Waiting to battle me. I found some good Pokemon in the grass. I think they'll do it for me. You don't say. Let's see what let's see what Pokemon you got, youngster Gordon Ramsey? Wooper. You know what? I like your taste. I like your taste. Wooper on Wooper action. Wooper on Wooper action is the best type of action. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Amphibians fighting is like the best thing ever, man. Okay, Mud Sport. Don't know what your goal is with that. I've, why? Mud Sport and Water... Water Sport and Mud Sport are like the two most useless attacks I've ever seen in my life. Like, at least the joke with splashes out there useless, but it's like... Water and mud... Water and, and mud spore are just... Like, what? what is the point? What is the point? You know? Shucks! I thought I could win! Sounds like a you problem. Oh my... Joey! 
What do you want, Joey? Good evening, DeAndre! It's me, Joey! Were you awake? Oh yeah! I saw a wild Pidgey! I thought about going for it, but then I failed. Oh well. I guess that's just the way it goes. I'm not very good at catching Pokemon. You called me for a dang Pidgey. You called me for a dang Pidgey. Oh, item. Okay, Bullet Seed. Lovely. Okay. Oh, there's a trainer here? That glance. It's intriguing. What about my glance is intriguing, sir? Roland? I'm a, I thought that said Ronald for a minute. <laughs> I thought that said Ronald for a split second. All right, we got a Nidoran male, so let's go ahead and hit him. Don't peck me. You know, hit him with the diarrhea special. Finish you off with another one. Okay, I should probably stop abusing my Lud Shots, but I think we have a Pokemon Center coming up soon, so we can just go ahead and heal our boys up, since Union Cave isn't that crowded. Like, we'll get through that in, like... Like, it'll take us, like, probably, like, five minutes to get through there. Probably, okay, probably more than that, but... Ooh, there's an item over there, but we're definitely going to be encountering Pokemon, because these Pokemon are aggressive in the grass. Okay, reassess yourself. You ready, Whooper? Mudvayne spun around in a circle. Cool. You know, Mudvayne has the type of energy where it's like, Hey mom, look look at this cool thing I can do. And then like, they do like a random ass, like, uh, like a random ass backflip. And I'm you're just sitting here like, bruh, why are you wasting my time? <laughs> okay, my whooper took quite the beating there. So let me go ahead and heal up real quick. Good thing we have a potion. There we go. Whooper's nice and healthy. Okay, so I basically did all that for no reason, so let's go ahead and continue. It was one patch of grass, come on now. Mudvayne is the underdog of our team. Don't sleep on Mudvayne, y'all. Don't sleep on Mudvayne. Ah, oh, my favorite NPC, well, one of my favorite NPCs. How would you like to have this tasty, nutritious, Slow poke tail for you right now. Just one million pokey dollars. You'll want this. You know what? Sure. <laughs> I thought kids these days were loaded. <laughs> I really gave him that. What the? It's Friday! Oh my gosh, it is Friday. I'm recording this on two at 2.30 2 a.m. in the morning. I'm Frida of Friday. Nice to meet you. Here's a poison barb for ya. Uh, an item I'm never gonna use. Give it to a Pokemon that has poison type moves. Oh, it's wicked. You'll be shocked how you'll be shocked how good it makes poison type moves. I unironically unlocked a, like, little bonus event here. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and heal up real quick. BRB. This area is great for fishing. Looking at all those people fishing. Did you feel like you wanted to try fishing too? Would you like one of my rods, you know? In today's day and age, that line would not age well. What, what rod are you implying, sir? All right, let's go ahead and get the old rod, of course. Yeah, yeah, I know how the fishing rod works. What about you? Bonjour, how are you? Are you picking apricots? Yes, I am. 
Where do you go, little Apregon collector? I feel so great. I want to give you this. Ooh, lure balls. Is that in the original game, or is that, or is this like a new NPC? I don't know. I haven't played Heart Gold and Soul Silver in a minute. It's been a hot minute since I played those two games. Well, since I played one of those games, so I'm not sure if he was in the original or not. So I don't know. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. Lure ball. This Pokeball makes it easy to catch Pokemon that appear when you go fishing. Actually, this is made from apricorns. Of course, those two as small gifts from me. C oh, <laughs> I read that wrong, my bad. Consider those two gifts as two as small gifts from me. If you want more, go to Azalea Town. A man called Kurt can make special Pokeballs out of Apricons. Apricons rule? Alright, what are you guys saying? What should I make my Pokemon hold? Maybe an item that increases attack power? Okay. I always like talking to the NPC trainers, you know? Never know what you might miss. And I think this is going to be the last battle of this episode. And then we'll take on Union Cave in the next episode. So that badge, it's from Violet City. You beat Faulkner? Yes, I did. I crippled his wings with the power of electricity by my side. Peter, Peter Parker, with your little level six Pidgey. Let's go ahead and uh, fry ourselves our pit. Let's go ahead and fry ourselves a Pidgey. Another Pidgey? You really want to beat down, don't you? You really want to beat down, don't you? All right, I got something for you. His name is Kanye, baby. His name is Kanye, baby. Okay, Sand Attack might be a bit of an issue. Sand Attack might be a bit of an issue. Psych. We can just hit the Thunderbolt, one-shot the Pidgey, bada-bing, bada-boom, Pidgey is down. And lastly, Spiro. Honestly, what was the point of having two Pidgeys? Like, I just never understood trainers who just have, like, the same, like, who just have the same Pokemon on their team. Don't you want, you know, a little bit of variety? That's just how I see it, at least. That's just how I see it. So I'm gonna go with a flash. Flash, bang, bang, bang. Oh, right, it has keen eyes, so it's, uh, so its accuracy actually can't be lowered. So I'm just gonna hit it with some water guns. I'll just hit you with some water guns. Maybe water gun is just all I need. Never mind. we need one more water gun in order for it to actually do some work. Critical hit is kind of crazy, but that's okay. We got a, we got rid of Spiro, and thus we have defeated Peter Parker. I know what my weaknesses are. Yeah, electric type moves. I know. All right, I'm gonna heal up, and then we can end the episode. All right, our Pokemon are healed up. Uh, okay, rugged rock. Yeah, I think that's it. So. Let's go ahead and stop in front of Union Cave, and we'll end the episode. How are we feeling about today's episode? Hotspot, or not hotspot, eruption. Eruption is steadily poking it at the ground. I guess he's saying this episode is trash, which is a lie. You, you guys know you love, you guys know you love watching me play these games, y'all. I love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, share this video with a friend, and leave a nice little comment down below. Also, if you guys are feeling generous, feel free to subscribe. It's 100% free. If you guys want to stay connected with me, my Twitter and Instagram, along with my other social medias, are in the description down below. I love you all, and I will see you guys on the next video. Only good, show army.